Hi there, my name is Manuel and I'm an audio engineer. Today I'm gonna show you how to integrate your Elgato Stream Deck in your Digico SD workflow using a free software called Companion. Enjoy! Everybody who works a lot with Digico consoles probably loves it as much as I do. I'm talking about the macro feature. With customizable macros, you can work way faster and way more efficient around the console, which is pretty awesome. But on older consoles like the SD8, SD9 or SD11, there are only 8 macro buttons on the console. And if you're in a bigger production, you run out of macros pretty fast. Of course, you could always use up to 256 digital macro buttons within the Digico iPad app. But let's be honest, Pressing a button on an iPad display is just not the same as pressing an actual button. That is why the Stream Deck is the perfect addition for a Digico SD console. You could trigger almost any function, albeit macros, snapshots or mutes. All you need for that is a small software called Companion. With Companion, the Stream Deck can communicate with the console. It's actually pretty easy to set it up. Let's check it out. First of all, we need to download Companion. To do that, we go to bitfocus.io, make an account, and once you're logged into your account, which is actually pretty easy, go on the download page and download Companion. Once you've downloaded and installed the file, you can open it and you'll get a window like this. If you see this window, click on Launch GUI. The control panel for Companion will open up. First of all, we need to add the Digico instance. So go to search, type in Digico, and add OC support. I've done it already up here. Once you've added this to your list, click on Edit. Here you can give it a name and you need to put in the right IP and target ports. To find out the IP of a console and also to make sure that Companion and the console can communicate with each other, we'll have to have a quick look at the desk. We go on Setup, go on External Control, First of all, there you can see your desk IP, which is in my case 192.168.114. And as you can see here, that's exactly what I typed in there. Now we click on Add Device. We choose Other OSC. We name it, I don't know, Stream Deck. Like this. Then we have to type in the IP of our computer. I'll spare this for now, because as you can see, I did this already. So my computer IP right now is 192.168.125. And as always with Digico, you also need to add ports. So I'll add 8002 as my send port and 8001 as my receive port. All that's left to do is make sure that the green arrow is checked. Then you need to go and load and load the other OSC commands like this. And also make sure that external control is enabled. If everything's done, we can go back to Companion. Type in the ports that you also added in the console. Make sure that you get the right port. The target port needs to be the receive port of the console. And uh, the receive port in Companion needs to be the send port of the console. It's a little confusing, but you need to get it right, otherwise it won't work. Once you typed everything in, Click on Apply Changes. Now, you should have a working connection between the desk and companion. So let's click on Buttons. As you can see, I already programmed quite a few buttons on my Stream Deck. If your Stream Deck is connected to the computer via USB now, you should see the exact same buttons that you see here on your Stream Deck as well. As you can see, there's one button empty and I want to program it now. So click on Button. Set button type to regular button. I want to add a macro on this button. And with this macro, I want to toggle my snapshot list. So let's type in snap for snapshot. As you can see on your stream deck, it already shows the name I typed in here. Next thing we need to do is add a key command. So click here, type in Digigo again. And then you can see all the commands that you can give to a button. Not only can you fire macros, but also trigger 
mutes, phantom power, or snapshots. Very handy. But what we want right now is a macro. So click macro. Now you have to type in a number here. As we know, we can add up to 256 OSC macros. So we can type in any number between 1 and 256. Let's take number 99 for now. Now we need to program the macro on the console. Here, we now go to setup again and on macros, because now we need to add the actual macro on the desk. So type new macro. Now the macro editor will open. As I said before, we want to have a macro that toggles our snapshot list. So we scroll down in the commands to snapshots panel. And we click on the command snapshot panel. Now we have the macro we need. The only thing that's left for now is the connection between my Stream Deck button and the macro it's supposed to trigger. So let's hit OSC and type in the number we just typed in companion, which is 99. That's it. Now it should work. So let's close the editor and close the macro window. And let's check out the button if it does what it's supposed to do. And as you can see, it works exactly as planned. Like that, you can put it pretty much anything you like. I mean, you can control macros, but you can also control mutes, solo buttons, you can even control fader values and snapshots. And the cool thing is, for instance, with the snapshots, you don't even need macros for that. You just control them straight from Companion. For instance, I have here my preview and next button on the Stream Deck to control my snapshots. And as you can see, it works perfectly and I don't even need to program a macro for it. As you can see, it's very easy to integrate the Stream Deck via Companion into your digital workflow. And the cool thing is, not only can you trigger macros and stuff on your console, you could also trigger QLab, Reaper, or pretty much any software that speaks OSC. You could even add multiple Stream Decks to control stuff. And the best part is, Companion is completely free. All you need is a laptop or any computer that runs Companion in the background, and you're good to go. All right, I really hope you liked this video. And if you did, leave it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. What are your favorite macros and how would you use the Stream Deck in your production? Let me know down in the comments. Have a good one and see you next time.